Hi, I'm Pastor Mitch, and welcome to your Word for the Day. Today we find ourselves reading the account of some women who were very close to Jesus in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24. See, at this point, Jesus, he had been crucified, his body had been pierced and ripped to shreds, and had been removed from the cross, wrapped and lain in a tomb. See, uh, he was the one who had promised these women living water, and he now lay lifeless. He was the man who was God, but had treated them as equals. He was the man who was their savior, but had defended them and brought them healing. And, but he had been arrested and beaten, crucified, and then buried on a Friday. It was now Sunday, and they had come to pay their respects when they showed up to the tomb. However, the huge stone that had been rolled in front to protect the entrance of the tomb had been rolled away. And so when they peered inside, they saw that the tomb was now empty. In the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 24, verse 1, we read that uh, the account of the story, it says, but very early on, on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb. They'd taken the spices that they had prepared, and they found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. So they went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. And as they stood there puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them clothed in these dazzling robes. And the women were terrified, and they bowed with their faces to the ground. Then the men asked them, why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Remember that he told you back in Galilee that the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and that he would rise again on the third day. Then they remembered that he had said this. So they rushed back from the tomb to tell his 11 disciples and everyone else what had happened. And it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and several other women who told the apostles what had happened. See, the Bible tells us that at first that these women were scared, and I'm sure that they also felt nervous, but also honored when they realized that they were chosen to be the first ones to share the gospel message. The message that Jesus was dead, but he is now alive, and that he had conquered death and paid for our sins. See, it's awesome that Jesus chose these women to be the first to know of his resurrection, and the first to share it with others. Back then, women were not always highly regarded. They were often grouped in with children when it came to uh, their reliability. In fact, the Bible tells us that even the disciples disbelieved these women at first. But see, Jesus, he saw their true worth. He saw their value, and he chose them. He chose these women over all of his disciples to be the first ones to hear the good news of his resurrection. And yes, they felt terrified at times and possibly even nervous or unsure of themselves. Maybe they had even believed the lies of the day, that they did not have much value. But now they knew that they had worth because their God, their Savior, had chosen them. Maybe today you're, you are in a position where you feel undervalued. Maybe you're in a position where you feel that no one respects you or listens to you. Maybe you feel like this at work when you're amongst your coworkers or supervisors. Maybe you've just been passed over for that raise or that promotion. Maybe you feel that you're undervalued at home, that no matter how much you do, you are never truly appreciated. But I want you to know that everything that you do, Jesus sees it. That Jesus sees you for who you really are and he values you. In fact, he, he valued you enough to say that you were worth dying for on the cross And he values you enough to say that he wants you on his team. See, the first thing that these women did when they heard that Jesus had risen was they ran to share the news with others. And I would like to to encourage you to do the same. See, you've now been told that there is a God that loves you, a God that values you. And today I want you to take that information and share this gospel message with just one person who needs it. Tell that one coworker that's been on your mind, that family member that sees himself as worthless, or even that cashier at the store that's having a bad day. Share with them that God loves and values you and that he feels the same way about them as well. Today, I want you guys to feel free to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day, and we'll see you tomorrow.